it's not easy. Um, you're gonna have naysayers. You're gonna have people say you can't do it. You're gonna have people say you're too old. But you can do it. I understand that I have the knowledge to do it properly, and a lot of people lack that knowledge. But I, so I recommend that you find a professional. Find somebody who actually knows what they're doing. You know, I lost 55 pounds and I haven't jogged a day. What made me start the weight loss journey was a specific incident. One day I was, you know, training, I was feeling good. I had a good training session, it was a Saturday afternoon. No, no one was in the gym. I was at my downtown location. I uh, took off my clothes to jump in the shower, looked at myself, and I just basically couldn't believe it. So it was just that reflection in the mirror it was something I did not like. I was pretty much trying to, you know, convince myself I was happy. Um, and almost, you know, to be honest, tears almost came to my eyes. You know, I was 270 pounds, big belly, strong, strong dude, you know, decent strong, nothing crazy. Um, but uh, something clicked that day. I went home, uh, went into uh, my, you know, liquor, alcohol storage, poured all the wine, you know, everything, vodka, everything I had down the, uh, down the sink and that was it from that day. I've never, I haven't turned back. It's been a, more than a year. And, that, and that's how I started the, slow, the process slowly. And I just, you know, did it in chunks. First thing I did, I just committed myself to not to drink. And I haven't had a drink. Um, it's over a year now. And then from there, I just started to eat healthy. Um, and then from eating healthy, I just started to get stricter and stricter. And, and that's how my journey has been now I'm 215 pounds, so I lost 55 pounds. I feel great. I feel like I, like I felt like when I was 25 years old. And um, it's just amazing. And, and you know, I guess I'm lucky I have a lot of young athletes around me who support me. I, you know, I'm, I'm a big kid and I try to compete with them and so on and so on. But they motivate me, you know, guys like Fabian and uh, Mensa and, uh, you, know, you know, my daughter. Um, it, it, it's just, it, it, it helps being in this environment, so um, I feel young, I feel great. They call me old man, and, and uh, you know, I try to, old man tries to keep up with these young guys, so until you actually go through it, go through the experience, you don't appreciate, because I used to be very tough on uh, people who don't want to make the commitment to lose weight and make all the ex excuses. I still am pretty tough, and, but now at least I have a different perspective. I understand. I understand when people say, you know, the, the shoemaker who doesn't have, uh, you know, has holes in his shoes, who, um, the doctor who needs to take care of himself. So I said, you know what, I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not going to be that type of professional. I'm going to make time, sacrifice, whatever it is, money, um, and I take care of myself, and I do that. Uh, there's a certain times in the day, there's a certain time in the day I train, and I will, I refuse to train anybody else. Um, and if I have 10 minutes for that day, if it's 15, if it's an hour, fantastic. I will not budge, because at the end of the day, if I don't take care of myself, I won't be able to take care of my for, first and foremost, my family and my loved ones, and I won't have a business. Um, to be honest, my, I always, you know, thought or, you know, people hire me for my brain or they do, right? People hire me for what's in my head, not how I look. So I don't care. But at the end of the day, it, I realize it's not about that. It's about me. It's about how I feel. I feel great. I feel young. I have so much more energy. Um, I've never felt like giving up. It's like when my, I don't know, that was, it, that, that moment of looking in the mirror was such a powerful moment for me. Um, and I think I did it right. I didn't take on too much too fast. I, li I literally looked at my 
my responsibilities, my schedule, my life, and I just started to take in chunks. And it wasn't only about weight loss, it's just about, it's even about um, uh, self-improvement. You know, doing small things in my day to be better. Getting up four o'clock in the morning. Um, having specific time to, to study, time to build on my craft. Um, you know, just really reading books to help feed me, motivate me. Um, I like things, motivational things to keep me going. I like motivational quotes. You know, I, I like, I pull on those things day to day to help me, you know, uh, chunk on my tasks. Of course there's days that I don't want to work out. It's not for everybody, but I work out seven days a week. It could be for 10 minutes, it could be for an hour. Could be for two hours, but I work out seven days a week. I do not miss a day. I actually have a chart, you know, and I that chart. I chart my workouts. I chart my weight. I chart. I, I uh, track if I eat good food or processed food. I, I track those little things because I'm competitive. So I found ways to make that little world work for me, you know. And that book was a Stephen Covey book. I got that out of actually, um, where you basically have these metrics and if you look at these metrics and you'll check if these metrics work for you so I just basically I have a scorecard I guess that's what it's called it's a scorecard and it's actually a, a business book and um, it's called uh, this four disciplines of execution for DX phenomenal book and that helped me and I um, apply to some of those business uh, some of those principles a lot of those principles to my business but I also apply them to myself so reading um, and and applying, putting certain things around me um, um, to help me within my journey, journey was tremendous for my, you know, the, the commitment to my diet. Um, the toughest part is the diet. Training is easy. You know, toughest part is, you know, you go home, I have a family, I have two young children. You know, you see, I love gummy beers, jube jubes, and ice cream, and all those things. And you see those things around the house, and you and you and you you want that. So yeah, that part isn't easy. Uh, that part sometimes I do take a couple steps back. Um, but in a whole, in a whole, I I found what works for me, and I'm so happy, and I am so grateful. Um, some of the annoying things is some of the misinformation and all that. Uh, you know, marketing and gimmicks and so on and so forth. I just lift weights. I recently started doing some uh, hills and some um, conditioning work. So I'll do strongman, I'll do sleds, um, and, and some hill work, but jogging, no. I lift, I eat well, it's just that simple. Right? I guess my point is find someone who actually knows what they're doing. If you want to make a change for your life and you don't want to do things that are actually going to destroy your metabolism and give you the quick fix so yes you lost some weight on the scale but you, you, don't, you look like crap, right? Find someone who can help you utilize the right methods um, of training and nutrition to get the body you desire. That would be my message. It's not usually about looks, but um, this time around, at 50 years old, or heading to 50, sorry, 47, you know, I want a six pack. And when I'm 50, I want to pull 600 pounds, squat 500, bench 400 pounds. You know, and those are good numbers for my age, you know. Um, and, and those are standards I set for myself, and I'm going to push myself to get to there. One day, when the glory comes, it will be ours, it will be ours, oh, one day, when the war is won, we will be sure, we will be sure, oh, glory, 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 oh, glory, glory, one day.
Now the wild 